Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about how to use rational roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. Well, we've already dealt with square roots, but we know roots can have more than just square. So when we saw a square root beforehand, like this, there was really just like a 2 here we just never really wrote. Well, what if we have, let's say, a third root? Third root. Well, third root of 8. What is that really meaning? Well, before, square root was really asking ourselves what number times itself, really being square, is equal to, let's say, the inside. And so we had stuff like 100, right? Let's make it separate here. And that would be 10. Well, what about 8 here? This is what number times itself 3 times is equal to 8. And that's really going to be, well, it's asking this, right? What number, uh, t what number here, fill in the box, to the third power is equal to 8, and that number is 2, right? 2 to the third power is 8, so the cube root of 8, uh, notice cube root of 8 is 2. And this can be anything. A lot of times we'll see what we call the nth root of a number, okay? So let's go uh, dive right in, see some examples with this. Okay, so example 10, part A. And say we're given the fifth root of the square root of negative 32, okay? And this one's tricky. Before, when we dealt with square roots, we can never really do a negative inside. But when there's an odd root here, we're allowed to. So we have to ask ourselves, well, what number times itself 5 times equals 32, or negative 32 specifically, and that's going to be just a negative 2. Because, that's because here, negative 2 to the fifth power is a negative 32, right? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. We got five twos, and the negatives, make sure it says a negative 32, okay? Let's try another one, B. We have the fourth root of 4 times the fourth root of 1,024, okay? So this one's a little tricky, okay? Well, let's go try to make this all into one big radical, right? the fourth root here. We can, our rule still apply since we have the same root, fourth root, fourth root. We can combine it into one big radical. So we have that as the fourth root of... Well, 4 times 1,024 is 4,096. And the fourth root of 4,096 is 8, because 8 to the fourth power is equal to 4,096. Now, granted, I'm just, I have the answers here in front of me, and I'm going to test these things out. These aren't things necessarily everyone has off the top of their head. But some of these numbers you recognize as powers of 2, and you kind of finagle with that, try it out. 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 will give you 4,096. 8 times itself, 4 times. Let's try a harder one. C. Let's break this up here. So, <clears throat> We'll see here, we have the negative third root of 8x to the 6th power over 125. Okay? Well, this one's actually, it looks difficult, but it's not too much. So the negative, I'm just going to kind of leave on the outside. I'm not going to worry about that. But our rules before said we can break apart our roots into the numerator and denominator. So we have the third root of 8x to the sixth over the third root of 125. And as you get more familiar with practicing these, you start recognizing some numbers here. Third root of 125 is just 5. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5, 125. So we have 5 in the denominator. Don't forget that negative. And the numerator here, we have the third root of 8. The third root of 8 we already found was 2, right? 2. And now what's the third root of 6? Well, there's three pairs of x squared. x squared times x squared times x squared is x to the 6. So we're just left with x squared. And if you want to write it more nice and neat, you're going to have it like this, negative 2, x squared, over 5. And there we have, I'll make a little note here, there we have our answer. Put boxes around the other ones. <laughs> All right. 
So lastly here, for this type, let's go with D. And D is 8 fourth root of 3 minus the fourth root of 48. So what can we do here? Okay. Well, how can we simplify this as much as possible? Well, we want to see if we can break down some of these to get the same roots inside. Out of the fourth root of 3, we can't really break down, but there's a good chance to fourth root of 48. We can. Okay. Well, how can we do that? Let's add in this little um, prime factorization here. Uh, 48 is 2 times uh, 24. 24 is 2 times 12. 12 is 2 times 6. 6 is 2 times 3. Now, just like in square roots, we want to find a pair. Here, with fourth roots, we need to find a group of 4, which we luckily have here. 4 twos. Now, remember, 48, essentially, what this does is tell us that it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 48. So we can grab 4 twos. And that's the fourth root of 4 twos being multiplied as just 2. So we have 8 fourth root of 3 minus 2 fourth root of 3. This is what's left over, that one little 3. And so 2 fourth root of 3 is the same thing as the fourth root of 48. Now we have the same root. So now we can work on just kind of the outside. 8 minus 2 is 6. And we're left in just the fourth root of three here, and there's our answer. Okay, and we're kind of applying rules that we've learned earlier. So one other thing I want to mention here, and I'm gonna make a little space, kind of separating this out, my work here, there's enough room, is sometimes we get uh, rational exponents. And what does that really mean? Well, sometimes we have a to the m over the n power, okay? Well, what this means with roots here, a to the m over the n power, and I'm gonna write it now, diagonally. It makes it a little easier, I think. But a to the m over n power, that is the same thing as the nth root of a all to the m power, or the nth root of a to the m power. And this can be help us, makes it useful sometimes when we're moving things around and simplifying and knowing how those work as we're basically just trying to use our rational roots here. So let's try with our example 11 here. And let me do a different color to kind of separate it out. I guess I could have done that rule in pink. I'll do it like, oops, I turned off my thing. So I'll highlight this rule in pink. Let's try example 11. Well, let's go write this as a radical, 3, 4, 3 to the 2 thirds power as a radical, and then we're going to simplify. So they tell us from our rules, kind of just follow our rule here, that I could rewrite this to be the third root of 343 all to the second power or the third root of 343 squared. Either one I want, I can, I can do, and it's whatever way I want, okay? Well, one thing that helps us here and sometimes one's easier, sometimes the other is easier, but this one's going to be easier the middle one. We know the third root of 343 is just 7. So the third root of 343 is 7 because, note here, 7 to the third power is 343. And these are some things you just will start remembering off the top of your head, but you always have a calculator or you can try multiplying it out. Okay? And then we still have that squared here. So we're kind of working down. We have 7 squared, and 7 squared is just 49. So this wasn't actually too bad because we knew our rule. This uh, 343 to the 2 thirds power ends up being just 49 as our final answer. Um, so sometimes these rules can help us uh, simplify and, uh, and whatnot. Now I'm going to erase some stuff here. So we can do one more of these rules. Okay, so bear with me.
So number 12. <clears throat> Let's try this again. We have 4 to the 7th root of the square, uh, sorry, 7th root of a square. Okay? And we want to write this as a rational exponent with you know, fractions. Okay? Well, a few things here. How can we break this down? Well, we know from our rule that was stated here, kind of reversing this, we would have 4 in the numerator, and this can be written as a fraction as a to the 2 sevenths power. Okay, kind of line it up, make sure which one's your uh, m and n value. All right, and we know that a number or a root or an exponent, sorry, in the denominator is a negative exponent in the numerator. So we can rewrite this as 4 times a in the numerator to the negative 2 sevenths power. And what this really shows us is how we can manipulate rational exponents with roots, and these are all just tools in our arsenal to help simplify expressions. Okay? So let's go try to simplify two more expressions here. I should have given myself a little more room, but we'll see. 13. We got a here. So a is 5 times 2 x to the 3 fourths power times 3x to the 1 fifth power, okay? Well, our rules with exponents is that we can add our exponents if we're multiplying with the same base. Same base here is just x. So let's multiply our numbers across the coefficients. 5 times 2 is 10, times 3 is 30. So we have 30 here. x to the, remember we add the exponents, 3 fourths plus 1 fifth now, as our exponent, and 3 fourths plus 1 fifth simplifies to be 19 20. And so we have 30 here, x to the 19 over 20 power. And there is our answer. Let's try one more here. Keep saying one more. B. This one is 16 over 9 to the negative 1 half power. Okay, and we want to simplify this. Well, 16 over 9 to the 1 half power is the same thing as flip it and make a positive exponent. I like dealing with positives. Same thing as 9 over 16 to the positive 1 half power. Then from there, 1 half power is the same thing as taking the square root. So we have the square root of 9 over 16. And this one actually becomes fairly easy, and I'll come around to here. Square root of 9 is, well, 3, or we can break it apart. I'll break it apart. Square root of 9 over square root of 16, each one individually. And square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 16 is 4. And our answer here is just 3 fourths. So this uh, 16 over 9 all to the negative 1 half power simplifies to be 3 fourths. Well, I hope this video was... Uh, informative for you and helped you learn learn how to use rational roots and if so please hit the subscribe button down below and like this video and let me know in the comment sections uh, below this helps us make more videos for viewers like you and as always thanks for watching minute math, minute math. when you need help you use minute math.